Hi, my name is Shintaro Higashi. I'm a two-time national judo champion. I'm here with my friend Chris Maximovich. We're at the Kokushi Budo Institute of New York, and today I'm going to show you how to throw Osotogari. This is Osotogari. Okay. So how did we get there? First thing about Osotogari is I want all of Chris's weight on the leg that I'm about to reap. So I want Chris's weight all like this before I reap. First thing, my left hand, I'm holding on to the sleeve. I'm going to pull and look at my watch. This is the position like this. Here, I'm stepping maybe a foot outside of his feet. This space right here. Check my watch. This one. See? So what this does is pull the weight over this leg. Now my right hand, I am going to answer the fall. Here, this way. Okay? Let me take this angle. I'm going to step in the same position. So when I put those two things together, I'm stepping bringing his weight onto the leg that I'm going to read. Okay, so now the reap. What I want to do is I want to keep my legs straight. Point the toes up, away, and my heel is going to go out. Like this, like this. And from here, I'm going to reap. Straight back motion. Another important aspect of a sotogari concerning the reaping of the leg, what I don't want to do is from here this way. I don't want to cut this way. Okay? What I want to do is I want to come up, cut the leg, and slightly turn like I'm throwing a baseball or a football. See here? Okay. So, I do all the right things. Check my watch, answer the phone, outside of the foot, bring the weight over this leg, heel out. When I'm reaping the leg, I want to cut down and turn and throw him this angle over here. Some more elements for those sotogari. What I want to emphasize this time is my stepping in leg has to be bent. If I come in and my leg is extended, I'll have limited mobility and I might I run the risk of getting countered. So if Chris is standing in this position, stepping here, stepping, the leg is bent. Okay? Here. Leg is bent. Another crucial element with those sotogari is I want to launch myself into the throw. For instance, if I'm throwing a baseball, I'm never going to throw the baseball like this. I'm launching my body and exploding into the motion, which I'm going to do with those sotogari. From this position, I'm going to rip my arms, explode into the throw, into this lane that I've created. At the same time, I all balance them with my hands. Let's talk uchikomi or drill. What I want to do is I want to go through the motion as efficient as possible following great technique. I want to exaggerate the motion with my hands because in competition, my opponent will be resisting. Right now he is not. And I'm going in. Also the gari. Notice I'm not finishing the throw. I'm practicing my entrance. Here are some common mistakes during Uchikomi. Not off balancing my opponent enough in this manner, it's going to get me countered. This is no good. Another one is hitting his leg. This is no good. 
for drilling the entrance during Ichikomi, not the actual reef. Another mistake very common in Uchikomi is keeping your hips away from your opponent. This is no good. Because I have no power and not engaging my opponent with my hips. In order for me to throw him, my center of gravity needs to be close to him so I can rip through the throw and launch him. Let's talk about timing. Taking into consideration motion going in this direction. What I want to do is time my step. Momentum's going this way. I'm beating it into this position. Like I said earlier about launching myself into this lane, that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is what it looks like when I throw. This is what it looks like when it all comes together. Hope you all enjoyed my video. There will be more to come. Check us out on the web at kakushibudo.com. The link's down below. We're located in Manhattan. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you all next time.